train, losers complain. Good day, everybody. Rough Rider guy here. Day two of the rookie camp at uh, Griffith Stadium at the uh, campus of the U of S Huskies. I was out here yesterday, didn't uh, take any uh, video. I, I don't like you taking too much video out here. And plus they always have that music pound and rap stuff that I really like. Ha uh ha. -huh. But uh, they're out here running themselves, running through the paces here running through drills and uh, it's all the rookies but there's quite a few people out here at least I would say over 50 guys uh, not many people coming out to watch the main camp here starts on Saturday uh, not much happened yesterday the only thing I'd say was old Patterson uh, quarterback there he threw a couple terrible balls interceptions uh, the only other one I liked out here yesterday was that Jake Cohen, that new quarterback out of Notre Dame. Pretty big dude. He's uh, 6'3", 220. Uh, he looks like he's got a pretty damn good arm. Well, he really impressed me with one toss. He just flicks it. And it flies pretty good. It's, looks pretty damn good to me. Nice size. Big, interesting guy to be watching here through camp. Well, I'm, I think we definitely need another backup quarterback and hope he gets one of the, he might get he might get one of the positions I sure do like his size and he looks bloody damn fit too now they got a lot of boys out here and these a lot of size I'll tell you and these guys don't look out of shape one none of them actually and I could pick there's a couple guys that dogged it during the exercises but uh it's a beautiful day out here, and uh, well, uh, I'll put a few still photographs here uh, of the action. Like I said, they don't like you taking too much video of, that, of what's going on. I don't understand that really. But, no, they don't do anything surprising out here that every other team across the league does. But really looking forward to this season here. It's exciting with a whole new coaching staff and it'll be interesting how camp goes, how it run, how it's run compared to, to other years. This will be my third coach already. It tells you how old I am and how long I've been watching these guys. Uh, yeah, my third different camp from different coaches. I still prefer Jones of all the camps I've seen so far. I liked how Jones ran it, but we'll see how this Corey Mace does it. I really like his enthusiasm. And uh, he, uh, even out here, I really liked, he, he's always going around to pl players fist pumping them, pulls the odd guy aside and gives him some tips and everything. You can tell he's got high energy and uh, he's a, looks like a player's coach. And, Loves to rev them up, and I like seeing that. You know, I think that was one thing that our Dick and Dicky lacked was any kind of enthusiasm. He always looked like he had his thumb up his rear, and to me, uh, it's, it's too mellow. Anyway, I'll uh, watch the rest of the day here and uh, see if anything exciting happens in the drills here. They're just basically running drills and teaching them. A lot of these U.S. players, the, the rules of, of the, especially on the special teams and the one yard, and everybody knows the differences, but they got to show them. I mean, last year, look at Edmonton, it blew a game because a stupid guy didn't really re realize the rules. Anyway, I'll get back to you after the end of the, the uh, session here. Beautiful day out here. Come on out and say hi. And uh, uh, it's, it's free. Not many things are free, are free in life these days. Anyway, I'll get back to you later. If you're coming out to watch this year, it's a little different from last year. Uh, they've switched colors. The uh, offense is uh, green and the defenses are white. It's completely
completely different. It always throws me off every once in a while. I go, what the hell is that guy doing? And I forget that they've switched colors. But uh, O'Day made a debut out here. I don't think I've seen him yesterday, but he's out here today. And he was on the phone. Hope he can find us some more guys here. But um, there's a few uh, crazy plays that I had a Jew, a Jew. He had one right thrown right in his mitts and it was picked off. But the most impressive guy I seen out here today was that CJ Colton uh, defensive back. He made some nice plays. Two in a row, beautiful plays. One really nice pick. Actually, he has one pick and then he almost had another one. It's really a bright spot for today. Another thing that uh, Aussie, uh, I think he's an Aussie punter, Joe Couch. Uh, Joe Couch, boy, I tell you, he was kicking him from the 32 and he was landing him at the 10 15 yard line. And then they moved him up to center field and uh, um, they uh, he would kick him right to the goal line, right to the spot. The guy was standing there and he was kicking him right to the spot. Pretty impressive. I, I couldn't believe he could really hoof him up to the sky, that's for sure. You know, like... I don't think it'll push Corsak out of the job because I liked his kick and we're never, we never were struggling on how he kicked. And he could tackle too, that Corsac could tackle. But this kid there, this uh, coach, I'll tell you, he can boot him and put him to the moon. Impressive. Another guy that caught my eye was that Kalip Saunders. I don't know, he's about only about six, six, maybe six foot, six foot one, but 287, I think, or something like that. And he was really attentive. He's a defensive lineman. And he, in his reps, he was right in there. He had his, uh, he had his ears wide open, listening to the coaches. And uh, boy, he's built like a pit bull. I tell you, he's he's got some girth to him, and and uh, it caught my eye anyway. Because we're gonna need somebody in there to play that nose tackle position to relieve uh, all the Mika Johnson, you know. Like, uh, to me, I think Mika is only good for about half the game. He's getting up there in age 38, so you know you're going to need somebody to r rotate in and out of there. That's for sure. Uh, generally today, I'll tell you on the scrimmages, the uh, defense and offensive line weren't holding back very much. There was a lot of banging for not having any pads on. And it was a pretty upbeat practice, especially when the scrimmage was going on. And uh, a couple guy up Patterson, he didn't impress me. He threw a couple terrible balls. But uh, uh, the rest of them was pretty uh, uh, error free, except for the ones I brought up there. Uh, now, nah, that's about it for today. I won't be on tomorrow. I'm going out to test out my cousin's boat, try to throw the line in the water out there late out at uh, Blackstrap see if we can catch a couple pickerel and then we'll be out here uh, beginning of camp is on Sunday I uh, hope to see everybody come out she's enjoyable to watch even if you catch a bit of the action especially when they have the scrimmages and uh, hope to see you all out here and uh, go riders go